Hey Kristen, I'm really sorry that it's taken so long to get you feedback on your most recent teaching, um, number seven, but let's, I'm going to watch it in real time and uh, give you some feedback. All right, class, today we're going to practice our new learned melody go by singing Bow Wow Wow. And what I want you to do is in the second Bow Wow Wow, I want you to replace the second wow with go. So you know, the only thing that might help this is maybe to have the words. Great job. Yeah. I think it would just help to have that on the board. What is your favorite farm animal? I loved this. This was so great. Dr. Soja. Sheep. Sheep. I really like that you do this because it gets the students to buy in. Is that a farm animal? Maybe in Africa the elephant is a farm animal. I don't know. American elephant. That makes it good. Josh, you took mine. You like cows too? Okay. I like cows twice. Really? Oh, You can count dogs. They're on farms. Yeah, this totally works with this class. With a, a real class full of, you know, 25 kids, you know, you take three or four or something, and then, you know, if other kids like those, hopefully you cover a lot of the bases, so, you know. Our basic farm animals on the board, so the reason why I asked is because our next song is about a farmer. All right. I'm going to sing The Farmer in the Dale, and what I want you to do is pay close attention to the words in the, at the end of the farmer. Yeah, I think all you, all, all you really needed to do with this that might have helped the farmer in the is dale, to just put the words the on the board the dale, so that they could sort of have a visual the reference dale, the farmer in the dale. of what they were listening okay. for. You know if what I mean? Had to compare, I think that would work what really well. word does in the sound similar to, to in the song? Bow, wow, wow. Do we think in the sounds like This is where the visual bow, things would really things help because they like can bow. look at both of them, interhear them, okay. and then Do compare them to one another. The sounds like the second So wow. I think that would be good. I just hadn't thought of it. Sometimes it's like when like you actually do it, wow. um, I'm like, oh, okay, this, this looks great in the lesson plan. And then after you teach it, I'm like, oh, this would really help. Um, but so I don't always think of it the first time I look. And then again, this Raise is where the visual bits would help. Like the second wow. Raise your hand if you think it sounds like the first wow. Because uh, with actual real kids, Good that'll be job. really hard for them like to have the that first reference. Wow. We know so it. So let's sing um, it again. And what I want you to do actual little kids is I want might you need to a little bit more pay close of attention a reference. to in the again. And I want you to think, see if you think it's higher in pitch, in the middle, or lower in pitch. The farmer in the dale, the farmer in the dale, hi-ho the terrio, the farmer in the dale. Okay, so if I write and compare it to the words farmer and dale, if I write farmer and dale on the board, do we think in the, put one finger up if you think in the is higher This was really than good. Farmer. I liked this. Um, there again, it has the visual component of it um, that some kids might need. I like that. For doing this. I like essentially that you put me Ray Doe as. Alright, let's put it lower. You put it as me Ray Doe. That's awesome. Okay, 
great. I'm I'm so glad you walked them through that. Sometimes kids really need to know what it isn't before they can tell you what it is. So this is perfect. As always, your vocal modeling is really great. It's in an appropriate key for kids. I like that you did that to replace it with mid mid. Another thing that's really good about this is that if kids don't know the farmer in the dell, which as you know what's happening lately is that there are fewer and fewer kids who know um, these songs. Um, what's kind of great is that they've had a lot of practice. They've heard it a lot. I, I really oh, like the way so that you did all of that. That was perfect. Chairs. And then this is a great decision. change of pace Reverse. type of activity. But the thing that's wonderful is that the kids have had a lot of opportunities well, to listen like to you sing The Farmer in the Dell, to listen to it, to maybe start singing along with you. Um, it, so I, I think that they would really know the song by that time. Or at least be able to sing it to, to some some kind of degree. What is hanging off of? Oh, it's my scarf tag. Sorry. These are the things I have questions about sometimes. The farmer takes a wife. I'm gonna grab Jessica. The farmer takes a wife. I have a dinner. The farmer takes a wife. And then the next verse is the wife takes a child, and we're gonna to continue to grab people out of the circle until we get to our last verse, the cheese. And what the cheese is gonna do is they're gonna move into the middle, and we're gonna go around, we're gonna circle around the cheese, and they're gonna the cheese spins along, the cheese spins along. <laughs> Austin. Josh has decided that his cups, it's just not going to make it through the hostility of the farmer in the dell. So you explained the game very well. I think kids, young kids, would understand it very well. So that's great. The wife takes a child. The wife takes a child. I hope a dairy. The wife takes a child. The child takes a child. Now the only dog. thing that's confusing the about this part of it dog. is that um, we're sort of making a big line, a like a crack the whip the type the cat. line. The dog takes a cat. Maybe instead have them hold hands. Yeah, we ended up sort of making a line. The cat takes a rat. The rat takes the cheese. The rat oh, we ended up taking cheese. Billy. He's the cheese. Oh, that's how we ended up. Poor Josh. The cheese stands alone. Alright, so the next time we do this, we'll let Josh do our Good job today, class. Thank you. Hey, Josh. Hey, Josh. Hey, Josh. All right, so all in all, it worked out perfect. I think it's a great lesson. I need to turn off autoplay. I think it's a great lesson. There were a couple ways in which I think it could have maybe been enhanced just with adding some visual things for your kids to um, to be able to understand. Now, I think these are, it was either kindergarten or what was it? might have been second grade. It was second grade. So you could put up a lot of the words and, and readability would have not been affected too much by it. Um, they should know all of those words. And so I, I think it could have been enhanced in that way. 
But otherwise, the sequencing of the lesson makes a ton of sense. Um, you chose things that went well together. So, you know, a job well done, executed very well also.